It all begins with our protagonist, Will Surfort, a student at Regarden Magical Academy. By the way, Regarden Academy is one of the most prestigious magical academies. It goes without saying that Regarden values talent for magic the most. But our protagonist, despite being a student of Regarden, can't use magic. In other words, our protagonist can't use magic in a world ruled by magic. Hmm. Wait a minute, it doesn't sound familiar at all. Anyway, since Will can't use magic, he gets humiliated and bullied by almost everyone, including the teachers. Edward, a teacher of Regarden, would often call Will to demonstrate basic magic in front of the class. Needless to say, everyone knows that Will won't be able to do that. <laughs> As you might have guessed, Edward wants Will to leave Regarden. He believes there is no place in Regarden for someone like Will who can't even use basic magic. Meanwhile, Shion Alster, your usual arrogant noble and a classmate of Will, would often humiliate and bully Will. By the way, Shion desperately wants Will to be expelled from Regarden. Well, he thinks Will is weak and not worthy of becoming a mage. After their class, Shion tries to intimidate Will for going into the dungeon and collecting credits. But one of Will's friends, Colette, stops him. Time for some backstory. A long time ago, the world was terrorized by invaders known as Heavenly Invaders. But then, five wizards stood up against them. They managed to drive them away and cast a barrier to stop them from entering their world. Those five wizards were given the title Magica Vende. The title has been passed down ever since, given only to the strongest. Now, the current five Magica Vende maintain the barrier from a huge tower. Long story short, Will made a promise to his childhood friend Elfaria to reach the top of the tower and become one of the Magica Vende. But Elfaria has already become one of the Magica Vende, and Will is stuck at the bottom. Despite being unable to use magic, he still refuses to give up. After a while, Will goes to meet with Professor Workner. Workner scolds him for entering the dungeon without permission. Well, to survive in this academy and head up to the tower, you need to earn credits. Since Will can't perform well in magic-related activities, he often goes to the dungeon to defeat monsters in exchange for credits. By the way, just like certain someone, Will can't use magic, but it doesn't mean he is weak. In fact, Will is the only warrior in a world full of mages. He possesses superhuman strength, and he also uses a sword. By the way, he is more powerful than any of the students. By the way, Professor Workner has a soft spot for Will. Since Will desperately needs four credits, Workner tells him that he could head to the sixth floor, and Will might fight a monster named Baskerville. Meanwhile, Shion eavesdrops on their conversation. Shion decides to head to the sixth floor to defeat Baskerville before Will could. He wanted to stop Will from earning any credits. Shion also takes his underlings with him. His underlings try to tell him that entering the sixth floor might be a bad idea, but Shion is high on ego. Then, instead of a Baskerville, they encounter a monster named Evil Sentinel. By the way, Evil Sentinel is worth 10 credits and is one of the most powerful monsters inside the dungeon. As soon as Will arrives at the scene, he witnesses Shion being cornered by the Sentinel. Needless to say, he is scared to death. <laughs> Meanwhile, initially, Will thinks that he has no obligation to save Shion. He then recalls how much Shion had humiliated him. But then he recalls Elfaria's words. Thus, he reluctantly steps in to save Shion. <laughs> Meanwhile, Edward visits Workner to inform him that Shion went to the sixth floor without permission. But Workner tells Edward that it will be fine. He then shows Will fighting the Sentinel. As Will continues to dominate the Sentinel, both Shion and Edward are in shock. Shion couldn't believe that's the Will he always looked down on. After struggling for a while, Will manages to defeat the Sentinel. Workner tells Edward that Will is the only warrior in this world. But Edward still refuses to accept Will as a student of Regarden. <laughs> 